So today we're going to show you how to fit a Ford Focus rear trailing arm bush, which is our 40 AK bush. There's several different ways to fit this, um, but I know most garages, the trailing arm will actually still obviously be on the car. So we're going to fit in situ as you would. So we've got all the tools and equipment here to, to fit our bush. So we're going to just start off by winding our outer metal into the house and using a using a threaded bar. So we'll show you all the tools we've got here to fit it. So we're going to start off, big out our tube on the back side and a couple of washers just to space it out. So this can get a bit fiddly but once you've got it all together, it does it the job perfectly. Now our tube there, we've just got a pusher here to push it in, so just something a little bit bigger. And another washer type on the front there. And just to help us, so we've got a little bit less winding to do, just a big tube. And then our final not to wind it on as well. And we'll just put a bit of WD-40 around it or any kind of lubricant just to ease it in a little bit. Wind that back off. It's probably went in a little bit too far. So obviously that's our outer shell now installed. Uh, just to make sure it's at the right distance. This is the bush we um, pushed out previously. And you see that it has some rust marks around it and it will show you the distance that you'd basically need to push that outer sleeve into. So we just got our vernier calipers measured down to the rust line. At this point, it's about 9.4. Give or take, it might be slightly different around 8.4. So all we've done is just pushed it in slowly until we got to the right distance on the, on the sides there. And you know, you might need to switch your um, threaded bar around in case you go too far, but you know, easy enough to do. Okay, so we're just gonna fit our 40 AK bush now. So all we're gonna need is a nice uh, G clamp. Get one that's obviously a decent length. We've got an outer tube to go on the back side and a washer, just so something we can plant up against. And a little bit of washing up liquid, tire or soap, anything you've got lying about that'll dry up and a little bit. Um, we don't want to fit this with grease at all, just, just with something that will dry up. So we're going to start off just by putting a little bit of washing up liquid around the flange edge. Just give that a little brush around there. And this is going to go on the back side of it, so you might need a second pair of hands here as well. just to finish it off. So that's the 40AK fitted into the housing. Obviously when you go up to offer this onto the car, you might need to rotate this bush just around that little touch. The easiest way, just taking a, a spanner, an adjustable spanner, and just bringing it round until you get it seated perfectly. And there's your 40AK fitted in situ.
So you don't need to end up taking the whole arm off the vehicle, obviously saving a lot of time and money when it comes to fitting. And uh, it's going to last you at least four or five times longer than OEM bush.